YouTube. Just want to do a quick update of my FPV frame SD450. I was having a problem with it. My last video I said that I think I narrowed the problem down the rollover issue to motor 2 and 3. Well, these are brand new motors and I am still somewhat having the same problem. I was using this battery 4S Gen A's 3300 milliamp. Okay, and I could not get them to spin. Okay, they would um, once you arm the nozzle, they would spin, but upon when you throttle up, they'd stop. I can't even get it to lift off the ground. Well, I switched batteries to Sky Lipo 3S, 4000 milliamp, and I've set the idle speed on the NASA assistant software to high. I can get them to spin now. I can actually take off the ground, but a couple of seconds later, it seems like the motors two and three, not both at the same time, it usually switches. It, it seems like they're powering down and it would just, you know, not tip over because it's not shutting off. It would just kind of, you know, slide down to the left. So I think that has something to do with a, I don't know, power issue. It's losing power in flight to motors two and three. And what I did, I think, I'm hoping it's not the ESC, but I guess that's the next step. Um, on the power distributor, which is down there, it's a really small power distributor from Value Hobby. Um, I put this stuff on it e6000 it's a glue you know um, from Michael's crafts or Home Depot wherever you get it to kind of make it more sturdier you know I put it on top of all the ESC you know that's soldered onto the power distributor including the main so I think um, that's what's causing maybe I'm hoping the power loss issues I've taken the glue off, uh, and I'm going to try it out sometime today or this week, so hopefully that'll solve my problem. If not, next step would be changing the ESC. Okay, so uh, if you have any ideas, comments, helpful thinking, uh, post, comment, let me know. That way I can try it out. I've looked on YouTube and seems like goddamn battery off off. Anyways, uh, I looked on YouTube and I can't to see you know I can't seem to find uh, the same problems that everybody's having on there. It's usually just motors not starting or you know something like that. Not specific to this kind of problem I'm having. So uh, I'm gonna give that a try and when I figure it out. When I finally get it flying without crashing, I will post another video and how I solved the problem. So, yep. Hopefully it's the power distributor board. That way I don't have to take the damn thing apart again. Anyways, thanks for watching. Fight or out. Or in or out.